Hello YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome, and if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video, you guys, we are going to get into fragrances that you need, okay? Uh, simply put, these are unique, they are beautiful, stunning fragrances that you should definitely get your nose on. And I just felt like I wanted to pop in here today and let you know you need to get these in your life, okay? For one reason or the other. So without further ado, you guys, let's jump right into today's video. Okay, so these fragrances all have just a very unique quality about them. And I feel like when I look at my collection, okay, and I look at these, it's like nothing else in my collection compares to these or similar to these. They just really are standout fragrances in their own right. So the first one I want to talk about is going to be from the House of Navitas. And this is Kind Intentions. This is the collaboration with the stunning Paulina Shar. And I feel like I just, I want to be a fly on the wall for um, the conversations um, <laughs> that led her to this. Uh, you know, the brief that she must have submitted to the perfumer. Like, how did y'all come up with this? Because it is so, so beautiful. I can't really compare this to anything. Um, the seaweed, okay? The seaweed is giving, and I was afraid to even try this because of that note, but fear not. There is nothing super marine about it. It's nothing fishy about it or off. Um, trust me, you will, you, I'm telling you. If you're looking for a fresh scent that has a very unique quality to it, that is sweet, but still fresh, a little floral, then this is it, okay? This is the way you need to get your nose on. The quality, the amount of fragrance, the performance on this fragrance at this price point is going to be unbeatable. So what you have in here is going to be, like I said, it opens with the seaweed, some mandarin and iris. So you have like this powdery quality to it. It has white florals, but they don't list what white florals and I really cannot tell you which ones. That is how well it is blended. You have a little bit of a frankincense, um, which gives it like a little bit of a warm quality, but again, still remaining fresh. You have some musk, very mossy, okay? So if you're not a fan of oak moss, this may not be for you. And I think that's why some people are comparing it to like a Baccarat Rouge. It's got a vanilla, it's mossy, but this does not smell like Baccarat Rouge to me. You have benzoin, so it does have an amber quality. You have some sandalwood, and this one is just one I love wearing when I wanna smell fresh and I wanna smell sweet, okay? A lot of my freshies, they're fresh, but they don't have the, this level of sweetness, this feminine floral quality to it. I love oak moss in my fragrances. So by the time you, you wrap all that together and put it in a bottle, you are left with something that is just stunning, okay? I love this fragrance and though unique, so I don't know if this would be, a, I don't think this would be a safe line buy, okay? I feel like I've described it pretty accurately, but at the same time, everyone's nose is different. But I feel like, if you like sweet, not cloying sweet, but sweet, for sure, it's definitely a sweet fragrance, like a sweet vanilla with an ambery quality and some freshness, and you don't mind an oak moss, then please get your nose on this because it is such a wonderful fragrance for this time of year in particular. You can save 10% when you do use my discount code for Navitas, and you know, like I said, price is unbeatable. You cannot, this lasts a good, like six to eight hours easy and it's a freshy. Can't be something of this quality, this, this scent profile at this price. Again, this one is Kind Intentions by Navitas. All right, so this next one is sweet, it's woody, but it has this summer vibe and quality about it and it is so beautiful and unique. And this is Moon Glory by The Harmonist. I've had this one in my collection for over a year now and I just feel like I still have never come across anything that smells like this. So you have a mix of really exotic florals. And I think that's why it has such a unique quality about it. It is woody, so it definitely has amazing longevity. But if you're looking for something 
with a jasmine, unlike your normal jasmines. I feel like this is like a Hawaiian jasmine or something in here. You've got a note of passion flower. You have Pinocchio wood, honey. I mean, the honey is not, y'all, the way they've done the honey, to me, is what really makes it special. It doesn't come off as anything animalic. It doesn't come off as anything syrupy and sticky sweet, which honey can definitely do. It is just done to perfection. This is so refined, okay? Unique, refined, floral, sweet, woody. That is what this is in a bottle. And it's nothing that I can just sit here and describe to you. This is definitely one you would just have to pop into a sax and just try it. Just try it. I think you can get a sample or discovery set from the Harmonists on the website. I'm not 100% sure if they have this in a particular um, set, but I would imagine they would if they have a discovery set. Popular one from the house, but I just feel like this is such a gorgeous orange blossom scent. It also has lychee, cactus orchid. I'm like, what the heck? Like so many florals that you've never heard of. Um, you know, very, very sophisticated lady. That is what this is in a bottle. I mean, is she pricey? Okay. But she performs and uh, again, a unique factor like no other. This one is by The Harmonist. Again, this is Moon Glory. All right, so this next one is newer to my collection. And um, wow, okay. <laughs> so this is actually sent over to me by the brand. And this one is Super Moon by Carner Barcelona. <sighs> what you are essentially getting is a, for me, okay, for me, this is all about the cassis. It really, really is. And it has this amazing pomegranate opening to it. It is green, but it is fruity. It is fresh. It is a little hint of sweetness to it. And this is just so, so beautiful for this time of year, you guys. So it is quite woody because you have a very prominent vetiver in here. So it's a freshie that I feel like is quite unisex, but if I had to pick, no, I feel like this is really straight up and down unisex. You have some amber in the mid and some lily of the valley. So again, with the patchouli, the vetiver, it has a very earthy quality. It is quite green because the cassis is really prominent in here to me, but the opening with that, that orange um, and that pomegranate is so fruity and so fresh and it's done with a very clean white musk in the base. So I would say if you could imagine like a Meliora or something like that, but you take away that black currant, okay? Um, a little less sweet. It's kind of the same vibe. Like when you layer those together, you're going to smell like the most beautiful, fresh, fruity thing on God's green earth. I am really enjoying this one. Overspray this, get your life, get your compliments. It's an earthy, beautiful, fresh fragrance with a hint of green that you will going to absolutely enjoy. Again, this one is Super Moon by Carner Barcelona. All right, you guys. So this next one is going to be from the house of L'Orquest Parfums. When this was released, I saw the notes and I was on the fence. Do I want to even try this? Because the leather note, you know, it kind of scared me. But, oh my God, is a liquor BPM or beats per minute so, so good. It is so good. So it is a tobacco fragrance, like above all. You're going to have to light tobacco to jive with this one, but it's also very woody. It's very ambery. It's got, you know, the sweetness to it from the tobacco and this touch of vanilla. There is a liquor note in here. It's like a dark liquor note, but it has a freshness that really does stick with you throughout the life of the fragrance for me because of a pear note. So you've got pear, you've got liquor and tobacco. You have a very prominent cashmere note and the leather in here is done so smoothly. And it's almost, um, it's almost like subdued. It's, it's leather, it's in the heart, but it is definitely smooth and subdued compared to like a leather bomb type of fragrance. I'm not big on leather, but I feel like this is done so beautifully. Like this scent is not really even my type of scent, like looking at the notes, but I love this. <laughs> Liquor Beats Per Minute is so 
beautiful. And it has amber wood, okay? Like I said, it's amber, it's got some vanilla, and the patchouli. The patchouli is not Team OD, it's done, you know, at a level that I can tolerate, that doesn't make me sick to my stomach. And I just think this is a fabulous release from the house. So, if you could imagine something like a triumph of Bacchus, but it's not as sweet. It's not quite as sweet and vanilla-y. <laughs> Um, it doesn't have like that green apple component. It's like, it, like I said, it's like that, but imagine with pear instead, okay? Not a super sweet, like overly ripe, juicy pear. This is a very crisp pear. So this is a lot fresher. Fresh, tobacco, little sweetness, and leather. So this is sexy. This one I feel like you can wear all year because it does have the fresh element. Wear it all year. But for me in the summer, I would say date night. I can see anyone pulling this off. You do have to like unisex scents though. I feel like this lends a hair masculine, but it works for me, it works on me, and this is so, so good. Definitely check this one out. I don't have a discount code for you guys, I don't think, I'll double check. But this one was sent over to me by the brand as I requested it. Um, and I just think it's a standout fragrance for the house. Again, this one is Liquor Beats Per Minute or BPM. This next one is unlike anything I had ever smelled before. I was on the fence about trying it, but I said, you know what? I think I'm gonna love it and I do. This one is Bana Banana and this is from the house of La Toussaint Parfums. And this is literally, you guys, you have taken all parts of the banana. The banana flower, the banana leaf, the actual fruit peel of the banana, the actual fruit of the banana. So it is in no way going to give you like this banana candy or Laffy Taffy or childish or playful type of vibe. This is a banana for the grown folks, okay? This is a banana for a grown ass woman with her ish together. It is so powdery and beautiful and there's this sweetness to it, but it maintains a very fresh, realistic tone throughout. So this fragrance does not have the best longevity and I, if, if they could create this, okay, with, I will say six or eight hours of wear because I feel like I'm getting more like that four, that four hour wear out of this. If you could give me something six to eight hours and the opening like is carried throughout the life of this scent, you will have a masterpiece on your hands, a masterpiece. This smells so good good. The opening is where you're going to get the most of that banana, but eventually it kind of dissipates to a, just a very gorgeous purple floral scent. This is so beautiful though, you guys. I'm telling you, do not sleep on this. If you like banana notes in your fragrances, you haven't, you know, tried this one and you want something really refined and sophisticated, this is one you need to try, period. Like you need to try this fragrance because even with the, the lacking in the longevity department, I don't care about decanting or respraying this one because the scent is just that beautiful. It has some spicy um, notes in it, but this is it's so well blended. Like this doesn't come up as spicy like at all. And I just feel like this is one that um, a lot of people don't really talk about. It has been around for a while, maybe that's why, but I just feel like this is such a standout fragrance from the house and one that everyone should get their nose on if they think that, you know, they want something with a banana note in it. It's more so about the flower and the surrounding parts of the banana, not necessarily the, you know, the actual fruit that you would eat, but you still do get elements of that very fresh, powdery, beautiful fragrance. Again, this is Bana Banana by Le Sun Parfum. All right, you guys, so that is our video for today. These are fragrances that you need, okay? You need them, you need to get your nose on them. They are all so unique and exquisite and just stunners, and especially for this time of year. It has been real, you all. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Be sure your notification bell is turned on so you don't miss any of my uploads. And be sure to give the video a big thumbs up as it helps you girl with the algorithm, all right? I love you all, YouTube, and I will catch you guys on the next one.